Okay. Hey, everybody. So today we're going to be talking about proving and disproving whether or not functions are big O of some polynomial. So feel free to pause the video and give this question a try. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with part A of this question. So hopefully you've given it a try. So what we're trying to do is that we're attempting to prove whether these two given functions are big O of x squared. So does that mean we can find, so essentially going back to the definition, if they are big O of x squared, that means we can find witnesses C and K, which satisfy this inequality for this given condition. So intuitively, a little bit of the understanding behind big O is you're gonna be taking a look at the largest growing term in any given function. So for example, in the function f of x is equal to x squared plus 500, we're gonna take a look at the fastest growing term in this expression. And so that's gonna be our x squared. And I'm gonna make the claim that the function x squared is upper bounded by x squared. Now, a lot of the times when you're working through these polynomials, if the largest term in the polynomial, the fastest growing term, so in this case, you'll see x squared, other times you might see like x log x or so on and so forth. If that polynomial is a slower growing term than whatever the big O of x squared is, then it is the case that it is big O. So in this example, we're gonna to attempt to prove O of x squared. So let's start off with our function, x squared plus 500, right? What we can do is we can, essentially what we wanna do is we wanna keep on increasing the value of this function until we arrive at some constant times x squared. So what we can do is we can say, okay, this function is gonna be less than or equal to x squared plus x squared if x squared is greater than or equal to 500. And that's true if x is greater than or equal to the square root of 500. As such, we can now simplify this function over here to 2x squared. And so essentially what we've done is we've shown that the function so we've shown that f of x is equal to x squared plus 500 is less than or equal to 2x squared if x is greater than or equal to the square root of 500. So essentially, now when we're trying to map this back into our big O definition terms, what we can say is that our value of c is going to be 2. And then since for any x greater than or equal to the square root of 500, this inequality right here is true. If we prick any, if we set any k value that's strictly larger than that, then we're good to go. So let's say that k is equal to the square root of 500 plus one. So for any x value greater than this, it'll be the case that x squared plus 500 is less than or equal to two x squared. Let's move on to the second question. So now we're gonna attempt to prove or disprove if f of x is equal to x fourth, x to the fourth over two is big O of x squared. Well, going back to our more intuitive understanding of what big O is, in the case of O of x squared, the fastest growing term is x squared, whereas in our function here, x to the fourth, our fastest growing, or x to the fourth over two, our fastest growing term is actually gonna be x to the fourth. And that's actually gonna grow faster than O of x squared. So what we're gonna attempt to do in this question is disprove O of x squared. So we wanna disprove. Well, how do we do that? So going off of the hint, find x in terms of c that disproves the inequality. So let's start off by assuming that it is O of x squared. So for contradiction, assume O of x squared. So that would mean there exists k comma c, which are real numbers such that f of x is less than or equal to c x squared if x is strictly greater than k. So now what we can do is we can sub in our polynomials. The next step is we're going to drop the absolute value because if x is strictly greater than k, and most of the time with big O, what we care about is as the function gets larger and larger tending towards positive infinity. And if we're working with positive numbers, x squared and x to the fourth over two are both gonna to evaluate to positive values. Now what we can do is we can multiply both sides by one over x squared. And we're allowed to do that as long as we make the condition that x is greater than zero must hold. So now what we'll end up with is x squared over two 
is less than or equal to C. So essentially, what this tells us is that f of x, our function above, is big O of x squared in the case that x is less than or equal to the square root of 2c. So we got the square root of 2c by moving this 2 up here and then square rooting both sides. So essentially, our, our proof so far has told us that f of x is big O of x squared if and only if this condition right here holds. x is less than or equal to the square root of 2c. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the, essentially, in order to break the fact that it's big O of x squared, we can pick any x that's larger than this. So we know that x is greater than k has to be some certain condition. So what we can do is we can assume that the x that we're picking is larger than both k and larger than the square root of 2k. So let x equal the max of k. So whatever k value that we've picked before. And we're going to say square root of 2c plus 1. And this, this value right here is not anything specific. We could have picked any value that's strictly greater than the square root of 2c. So now if we plug in terms, x to the fourth over 2, if we plug in, in this case, and evaluate the square root of 2c plus 1, whole thing to the power of 4 over 2, well, what this function is going to evaluate to is 4c squared plus 4c plus 1 over 2. Whereas on the flip side, x squared, or rather cx squared, is going to evaluate to c times 2c plus 1. So for our given x value, sorry, so we evaluated x at the square root of 2c plus 1. So for our given x value, it's the case that x to the fourth over 2 is greater than or equal to c, or is going to be strictly larger than cx squared. And that's true because 2c squared plus 2c plus half is going to be larger than 2c squared plus 1. And in essence, recapping what we did is we started off by assuming that our function was big O of x squared. And we know that's not the case because x to the fourth grows faster than it. As a result of that, we were able to arrive at a condition for which our function would be less than or equal to x squared. So if x is less than or equal to the square root of 2c, we know that our function is less than or equal to cx squared. However, we care about our function as it gets larger and larger. So if we pick any x value that's strictly greater than the square root of 2c, we were able to then arrive at a contradiction which showed that we found an x for which it is the case that f of x is strictly greater than c of x squared which therefore breaks our a condition that for all x greater than k, f of x must be less than or equal to cx squared. Thanks for watching.